Baby Archie, why Prince Harry could soon bring son to UK without Meghan Markle. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced the birth of their son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor on May 6, 2019. The young royal was born at Portland Hospital in London. However, his stay in the UK was short-lived, as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex moved to North America late last year, when Archie was just a few months old. At first, the Sussexes took a six-week holiday to Vancouver Island in Canada, where they went shortly after Remembrance Day in 2019. At the end of their stay, in early January 2020, the couple announced their intention to step back as senior royals. They said they wanted to become financially independent and split their time between the UK and North America. After completing their final royal engagement in March, Harry and Meghan made a more permanent move to Los Angeles. U.S. There, the Duke and Duchess have purchased a house in Montecito, Santa Barbara to bring up their son. As of now, Archie has spent more time in North American than in the U.K. While Meghan was born and grew up in California, Prince Harry has lived in the U.K. for most of his life. His entire family is based around Britain and the Sussexes now live a life far away from the royal spotlight. The young royal has not seen much of his royal family members so far in his life. Earlier this year it was reported Archie had only seen his cousins Prince George, 7, Princess Charlotte, 5, and Prince Louis, 2, a handful of times. The Cambridge children belong to Harry's only brother Prince William and Kate. Duchess of Cambridge. Royal expert Katie Nicholl told DT at the time, the Cambridge children have actually only met Archie a handful of times. Archie is only one year younger than Prince Louis, and the two could have formed a close bond. In addition, Harry's cousin Princess Eugenie is expecting her first child early next year. That means there will be another royal in a similar age to Archie. Meghan and Harry have not been able to return to the UK since their move due to the coronavirus pandemic. However, Harry has said he is planning on returning next year to watch the Rugby World Cup. He said, We've got a whole Rugby League World Cup coming next year so I definitely plan on coming back. I would have been back already had it not been for COVID. When he returns, Archie could come with him and the visit to his homeland may give room for some quality time with members of the royal family. The Duke of Sussex has already been vocal about wanting his son to get into rugby. In a video chat to honor the Rugby Football League's 125th birthday in August, Harry said, What I need is a few minutes rugby balls that I can then get Archie involved with the game because at the moment it's impossible to find any. But I've got a little space outside, which I'm fortunate enough to have so I need to get him playing some rugby league.